Hello, welcome. This is Tamara with Unboxing the Doll World. So, I'm keeping up with the summer because it's about to end and I really want to go out with a bang. So, keeping up with the summer unboxings, we have Sunset. And I know I'm a little behind on unboxing her. I watch other unboxings of her, like mini toy adventures, and I really just want to unbox her myself to... I think she's a stunning doll. Um, she just screams like beach vacation, like your dream vacation, and I just really want to unbox her. So um, maybe this is more for me than you guys, because there's a lot of unboxings of her out there. But I like doing these boxings for video, even if I don't really get a lot of views, because one, it kind of helps me to remember all the stuff I unbox. So if I want to like do a, a like photography thing later I remember like oh I have like the specific like yellow like bikini top that I can like um use for like future photography and I I don't know like specifically like Sasha's I I knew I like I remembered a bit of like her clothes like because like with my display like some of my dolls get set back because I have so many like box dolls so I don't remember like exactly every little piece of clothing they have but since I unboxed Sasha and Dana on camera and like gave a really detailed explanation it's really easy to remember what they came with like later down the line so that's why I like doing these unboxings so I really don't I care if I get views obviously but I don't do this just for like views or anything it's just fun to do and this has just kind of been a fun hobby for me um I'm really happy for the people that do watch my videos and do enjoy them and do leave likes and do leave comments so I thank you for that but it's just fun to do this and as I said I know there's many of them out there for sunset but this will be my unboxing of her so without further ado let me talk about the box so this was a vacation set or like um what did I put for exactly um it says right here world travel <laughs> jeez I'm already off to a great start. So it's LOL Surprise OMG World Travel Dolls. There were three of them. They had the Britney Spears Toxic Interpretation, as known as Fly Girl. They had City Babe, and then they had Sunset. So they had the one that's on the plane, and then they had the two destinations. So since we're already on the back, um, that's like a lot of stamps, like passport stamps that you would get. And it says 15 surprises on a stamp. And it says, OMG, we are sisters planning a vacay. We got our bags packed and we're ready to strut fierce around the globe. From fashion shows to beach parties, we'll find new trends and make new friends. No matter the destination, there's sure to be surprises along the way. Wish you were here. Hashtag wish, we were, wish you were here. Collect all three. Wish you were here. BFF Beach Arrival Center Stage, and again, just like the little stamps, BB Air Runway, LAville, and then it's got numbers too for each stamp, Big City First Class, and it says, let's be friends, OM hashtag collect OMG, and then they have their um, social media things, and there's just a lot of stamps everywhere. I do really like this box, it's very busy, but like really catches your eye and definitely goes with the theme of world travel with all the stamps and stuff um yeah they have like city they got beach lots of beach ones well mainly because they have city babe and sunset and i don't know it's just really cool and then you got sunset is the um baby and the little lol and then you have her name and just like more little stamps. I'm not going to go over each stamp, but then you got the front. Again, you got her. Um, again, very stunning doll. And vacay with sunset, it says, I'm a fashion doll. Unbox fashions. Package becomes playset. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. I really liked when they had the boxes as... Um, Something you could use. 
the biggest thing I have for like regrets of being or something I feel really guilty about being a doll collector is how much waste I generate. I literally like boxes and bags of just plastic which I know don't break down well in the environment and something I just feel very very not so great about. Um, so not my favorite thing about being a doll collector. I like to use a paper so these break down better even if you don't use this um, play set. So without bother, <laughs> without bother, without further ado, I will unbox her. So I think it goes in the order of like Sunset so far has to be my favorite OMG doll and then Alt Girl and then Busy BB. But holy crap, she is stunning. <laughs> like, first of all, like from her makeup, like the beautiful like sunset eyeshadow, the like kind of hot pink purplish lipstick, like oh my gosh, in her hair, I love it. Like with the gold um, braided into her hair, the bun on top, she's got baby hairs. And I love seeing like hair diversity amongst dolls and it's just really nice. Like I really like her hair. I love her makeup. It's she's really cool though. And I looked at her when I was talking about the bikini top, I looked at her thing and I I seen unboxings of her, but I forgot that it's not a bikini top. It is um Sorry, I had just a rubber band stuck to her joint of her wrist. I'll have to cut it. One second. But it's not a bikini top. It's um a sweater, like of some sort. I don't really know the right term. But um, I have like re recall issues sometimes with words. Um, I don't know why it's really hard for me to remember certain things, but. Um, this, I did like an IQ test and it said my memory is actually really good. I beg to differ because I have a really hard time with recall. And so I do apologize when I'm doing these videos. <laughs> and, but, so she has a blue bikini top underneath this yellow, like, kind of long sleeve, um, tied in like the center shirt so this she has this blue bikini top and it's really cute I just love the color scheme of her outfit like there's so many different like colors but they all go really well together so it's like a purple like blue white and it like zigzags and then it's got like baby blue like kind of like ribbon being tied up around it. I think she has bikini bottom. No, she does not. But she has this like yellow skirt that has like kind of gold. Well, it's kind of gold skirt with like goldish flowers and yellowish flowers that go around it. Why does she have another rubber band? Ah, okay, that came out easier. Um... And then she has these fishnet white tights and these um, kind of like moccasin boots, which I really like. Um, first of all, I like the heel. Like it's very like, like raises really quick and it has like a lace up and then like kind of like the moccasin like material, like you would think for like shoes going around. And yeah. So, again, she has this that goes on around the blue um, bikini top. I don't know if it would actually be really considered a bikini top if she doesn't have a bikini bottom. Every time I say bikini bottom, I automatically think of Spongebob. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Like, bikini bottom. It was a random question, but... Do you guys like new Spongebob? I just can't get into it. Old school Spongebob is like the absolute best. But I'm like that with most shows. Like, I always think the original is the best. 
Um, I'm trying to put this back on, I'm sorry. But, once I put this back on, so you have like the blue peeping out from the yellow and it kind of like hangs off from the shoulders a little bit so you can see the straps um and it does tie as i said in the center it's really cute um the only thing if i have a small complaint about this top there's a lot of thread like um i had to cut it out but that is her outfit that she has in box and then she has this cool suitcase um it's a gradient of oh it, it kind of ripped right here it's scratched Ooh, darn it that's unfortunate i did not scratch it either it came out of box like that nonetheless you have on um, these little like clasp on the side that have like a little broken heart that's like really small attention to detail not really sure what it goes with the theme but it's really cool but but it seems like this is kind of like Aztec design I don't know but it's a gradient very sunset-esque and then the handle actually goes down which is really cool so inside you have two little surprises when they were still kind of going with the surprise aspect and um I kind of like it and it made for fun thing oh this um when I was watching mini toy ventures he was so excited about the little pillow thing it's like gel it's really cool it's see-through blue and I'm sorry I keep itching my nose <laughs> it's my allergies today and it has purple flowers everywhere and little purple in the ears <laughs> it's capping it's so cute I really want this in real life now and I think these are the beads that go in her hair I have to really be careful because I don't want to lose them ah. sorry I'm just trying to be really careful don't fall out please Here we are. She comes with five or six. She comes with five. So they go in her... Sorry, I keep itching my nose. They keep going... Keep itching my nose. I'm trying to say that. Ah, okay. So, um, the beads go around... I think they meant to go around the gold, like, threaded braids. Um, but I'll put these here in a second because they're kind of small. Um... So I will do that here momentarily. I just don't wanna. Um, and then she has this other little surprise that is like um, travel items that you would have in a suitcase, and like the little like travel bag that you keep like your. I almost like condiments. <laughs> you keep your mustard and your ketchup with you when you travel. Um, your hygiene stuff. Jeez. I'm not qualified to do these videos. Um, you got like an earth and a plane and just little random symbols. Little beachy stuff. So, let's open it. You got her really cool sunglasses in here. I think that's it. Yeah. They have really cool sunglasses. Um, they're like gold studded around and they're like a hot pink and they got like studs on the frames and on the yeah the frames and you have like these multicolored palm tree leaves like purple pink and blue and green green being the normal color and you have a hot pink hanger and you have her shawl that goes around her well, kind of like Shaw's kind of robe that goes around her outfit. I absolutely love this little thing that goes around. It's super cute. And sorry, try to make sure I can keep my area not chaotic. When I did the shoe video, my area like right here was just 
very very chaotic so it's kind of like a sheer purple and it has um kind of like pinkish purple flowers everywhere it's got like a ribbon and the um for the thing that ties around and around the collar and then you have like these frayed like cords at the um sleeves and the bottom of the robe i'm gonna call it a robe i don't really know what to call this it ties around like a robe so let's go with robe and as I said, this outfit is like, it's a lot of different colors, but it really all goes really well together. Um, I'm very, like, impressed. I think purple and yellow are meant to be complimentary, but the blue is kind of stands out. I'm having a hard time putting it on with her sleeves right now, so I don't want to take too long to put it on. I'll do the best off with camera, but... She comes with her play box, which is a beautiful sunset with palm trees and little lanterns. And it's kind of like, because of the sunset, the sand and water and the trees are like different colors. And I said um, on the box with her, it being like the baby sunset, I met her little sister. I forget they're um, like all like related in different ways and then you have her stand which is like a light bluish teal I don't know if you guys can let me know about this but why is there two different sizes for the waist is it if you like put her in different clothes I tend to go for the more narrow one it seems to hold better the doll just on my just question out of curiosity and last but not least you have her little like passport it says passport here and it says passport world traveler and then it has her ticket to like go to the beach and it says in the passport it's the tropical vibes for me shades on music up chill out and party on and then it has all the passport stick stamps and then it has her photo and I love the artwork that MGA does for their dolls like absolutely adorable stunning cute like um especially like Rainbow High and OMG the Bratz ones not as much I felt like they were more like funky but for OMG and Rainbow High they're very stunning so so that is that is Sunset. Again, very stunning doll. I think she's my favorite for sure. And then as I said, Alt Girl and then Busy BB. Well, I'm trying to think of the ones I already have. And then Candylicious and then Miss Independent. And then I have all the tween dolls. I'm missing the, the deluxe sets. I have the babysitting sets. I just have to get those still. And then they're coming out with the masquerade set like individual dolls so I have to get those the tween dolls are the ones I'm keeping up on I don't plan to get every OMG doll because I honestly think some of the fashion is just a little over the top for my taste it's why I like sunset because it's very like I feel like it's very beachy but like a little more subtle on the fashion so that's really why I like her fashion but that is the video for sunset if you like the video, please leave a like, and if you comment, I will like or comment to your comments. And if you like my videos, you're more than welcome to subscribe. <laughs> and um, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you for my next video. Bye!